Star Trek, the iconic science fiction television series, first aired on September 8, 1966, and ended on June 3, 1969, after three seasons. Created by Gene Roddenberry, it took audiences on an interstellar journey through space, exploring new worlds and encountering fascinating alien species. The show introduced us to the intrepid crew of the starship USS Enterprise, led by Captain James T. Kirk, played by William Shatner, and his logical and enigmatic Vulcan first officer, Mr. Spock, portrayed by Leonard Nimoy. From its humble beginnings over 50 years ago to the present day, Star Trek continues to be a cultural phenomenon, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. The original series, its movies, and the subsequent spin-offs have garnered critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. While we pay tribute to the remarkable actors who have departed, it is heartening to know that the legacy of Star Trek lives on through the remaining cast members. In this video, we will delve into the lives and legacies of the actors who have kept the Star Trek spirit alive, reminding us that the final frontier is still within reach for a chosen few. After all, who is still alive from Star Trek in 2023? William Shatner played Captain James Tiberius, Jim Kirk. William Shatner is a Canadian-born actor whose career spans over several decades and encompasses a wide range of roles in film, television, and theater. Shatner began his acting journey in the 1950s, where he gained recognition for his work in films such as The Brothers Karamazov, 1958, and Judgment at Nuremberg, 1961. However, it was his portrayal of Captain James T. Kirk in the original Star Trek series that catapulted Shatner to international fame. The series aired from 1966 to 1969 and became a cultural phenomenon, developing a dedicated fan base that endures to this day. Shatner's charismatic and commanding performance as Captain Kirk made him an iconic figure in science fiction and pop culture. In addition to his on-screen work, Shatner is known for his distinctive voice and has lent his talents to various voice acting projects, commercials, and audiobooks. He has also ventured into writing, penning several books, including science fiction novels and autobiographical works. George Takei played Sulu. George Takei is a renowned actor, activist, and author, best known for his iconic role as Hikaru Sulu in the original Star Trek series. Before his breakthrough role in Star Trek, he appeared in various films and television shows, showcasing his versatile talent. Takei's portrayal of Hikaru Sulu, the helmsman of the USS Enterprise, garnered him widespread recognition and a dedicated fan base. His character became an integral part of the Star Trek universe and its subsequent film adaptations. Takei's performance was lauded for its charm, wit, and professionalism, earning him a special place in the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. Beyond his acting career, Takei has emerged as a prominent activist and advocate for social justice. In 2005, he publicly came out as gay, becoming one of the most visible LGBTQ plus celebrities and a leading voice for LGBTQ plus rights. Walter Koenig played Chekhov. Walter Koenig is an American actor, writer, and director, best known for his role as Pavel Chekhov in the original Star Trek series. Koenig developed an early passion for acting and began his career in theater. His breakout role came in 1967 when he joined the cast of Star Trek as the young Russian navigator Chekhov. Koenig's portrayal of Chekhov made the character a fan favorite and earned him a dedicated following. After Star Trek, Koenig continued to work in television, film, and theater, appearing in shows like Babylon 5, Moontrap, and Swamp Thing. In addition to his acting work, Koenig has written several Star Trek comic books and novels, further contributing to the franchise's expanded universe. How Star Trek Each Cast Member Died Leonard Nimoy Played Mr. Spock Leonard Nimoy passed away on February 27, 2015, at the age of 83. His death was attributed to end-stage chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, which he had been battling for several years. He began his career in the early 1950s, appearing in various theater productions and television shows. However, it was his role as the logical and enigmatic Vulcan science officer, Mr. Spock, that catapulted him to international fame. Nimoy's portrayal of Spock captured the hearts of fans worldwide, earning him widespread recognition and critical acclaim. His distinctive performance, characterized by the famous Vulcan salute and the phrase, live long and prosper, became synonymous with the Star Trek franchise. Beyond Star Trek, Nimoy's career spanned across different mediums. 
He appeared in several films, including Invasion of the Body Snatchers and Three Men and a Baby, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Nimoy also directed successful movies, such as Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, and Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. DeForest Kelly played Dr. McCoy. DeForest Kelly passed away on June 11, 1999, at the age of 79. He died from complications related to stomach cancer, which he had been battling for some time. Before pursuing acting, Kelly served in the United States Army during World War II. He began his acting journey in the 1940s, appearing in various films and television shows. However, he became widely recognized and beloved for his role as Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy in the original Star Trek series, which aired from 1966 to 1969. Kelly's portrayal of the compassionate and sarcastic ship's doctor endeared him to fans worldwide. He reprised the role of Dr. McCoy in several Star Trek films, solidifying his place in the franchise's history. Apart from Star Trek, Kelly also appeared in other television shows and movies, showcasing his versatile acting abilities. Nichelle Nichols played Uhura. Nichelle Nichols passed away on July 30, 2022, at the age of 89. She died of heart failure. Her ashes are due to be sent into space alongside Majel Barrett's and Douglas Trumbull's. She began her career as a singer touring with Duke Ellington and Lionel Hampton. Nichols transitioned into acting and appeared in various films and television shows, including Porgy and Bess, 1959, and The Lieutenant, 1964. However, it was her role in Star Trek that catapulted her to international fame. She is best known for her groundbreaking role as Lieutenant Uhura in the original Star Trek television series, which aired from 1966 to 1969. Nichols' portrayal of Uhura a skilled communications officer on the USS Enterprise, broke barriers as one of the first African-American women to have a non-stereotypical role on American television. Nichols's impact extended beyond her on-screen work. She played a pivotal role in breaking racial barriers by being one of the first black actors to portray a non-stereotypical character on television. Throughout her career, Nichols continued to be involved in the Star Trek franchise through various films, spin-off series, and conventions. She has also been an advocate for space exploration and NASA, using her platform to encourage diversity and inclusion in the field. James Doohan played Scott. James Doohan, the beloved actor known for his role as Montgomery Scotty Scott in the original Star Trek series, passed away on July 20, 2005, at the age of 85. Duhan had been battling various health issues, including Parkinson's disease and diabetes, in the years leading up to his death. Before he became a beloved actor, Duhan served in the Royal Canadian Artillery during World War II, where he saw action on D-Day and was later wounded in combat. Following his military service, Duhan pursued a career in acting. He studied drama and voice at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, honing his skills and preparing for his future roles. Duhan began his acting career on the stage, performing in various theater productions. However, it was his role as Montgomery Scotty Scott in the original Star Trek television series that catapulted him to fame. Portraying the ship's chief engineer, Duhan's Scottish-accented character quickly became a fan favorite. He brought a mix of technical expertise, humor, and loyalty to the role, endearing himself to audiences worldwide. Eddie Paskey played Lieutenant Leslie. Eddie Paskey passed away on August 17, 2021, at the age of 81. He died of natural causes. Paskey began his acting career with small roles in various television shows and films before landing a recurring role in Star Trek. His most significant contribution to the series was his portrayal of Lieutenant Leslie, a crew member on the starship USS Enterprise. While Lieutenant Leslie did not have a prominent character arc, Paskey's presence on the show was notable as he appeared in numerous episodes throughout the series. He often played a background character, providing a sense of continuity and familiarity on the Enterprise. In addition to his work on Star Trek, Paskey had a few other acting credits in both television and film. However, it was his association with Star Trek that defined his career and made him a beloved figure among fans of the franchise. Majel Barrett played Nurse Chapel. Majel Barrett, the beloved actress known for her roles in the Star Trek franchise, passed away on December 18, 2008, at the age of 76. Majel Barrett's cause of death was leukemia. She had been battling the disease for a period of time before her passing. She developed a passion for acting from an early age.
Barrett's career began in the 1950s, where she appeared in various television shows and films. One of her most iconic roles was that of Nurse Christine Chapel in the original Star Trek series, which premiered in 1966. She captivated audiences with her portrayal of the intelligent and compassionate nurse. Barrett's involvement with Star Trek extended beyond acting. She also provided the voice of the ship's computer, making her the voice of the Enterprise in multiple Star Trek series and films. Barrett's contributions to Star Trek did not stop there. She played a significant role in keeping the franchise alive after the original series ended. She appeared in subsequent Star Trek series and films, including Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Barrett also served as a producer for many Star Trek projects, including the final series, Star Trek Enterprise. Majel Barrett was not only a talented actress, but also a beloved figure in the Star Trek community. She married Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry in 1969, and their partnership continued until his death in 1991. We love the cast of Star Trek so much. Thanks for your memories, and goodbye.